All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Definitely appreciate you guys watching today. We're going to talk about flashlights. Should you carry one? You know, how to use that kind of thing. So we're going to give you a quick, uh, you know, couple of minutes, and we're just going to talk about the fact that you really need one. So, again, I got Nick over here. What's going on, Nick? How's it going, man? Thanks for having me on. Good, good. No problem, man. You want to plug in your channel very quick? Uh, Sure. My name is Nick from Practically Tactical. Uh, check us out. I'm sure there'll be a link in the description box. Every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Central, we stream our live show, Practically Tactical. And then, of course, if you miss the show, you can also catch it on the YouTube channel or, of course, on podcast. So you search Practically Tactical on iTunes and you'll find the show. Cool, cool, man. And, and I got to tell you, man, I'm, I'm, I want to say I'm pretty lazy when it comes to everyday carry because, you know, I'm the kind of guy that pocket carry. I'm the kind of guy that is looking for something very, very comfortable because I, I don't want to change my life. I'm not going to change my life around a gun. I want the gun to be part of my life. And, and that's just me. It doesn't mean that if you carry a Glock 17, you run. I mean, obviously, you are going to be better. If we face a threat, you're going to be way better than me. I wish I'd be standing next to you. But uh, <laughs> the point is that a flashlight is something that I've been carrying pretty steady, man, lately. And I'm actually enjoying it because I'm using it for so many different applications that is ridiculous. I mean, I take this thing to church, uh, grocery stores, any place that I, that I go. I, the point is that a flashlight could be very, very beneficial. And I've been carrying a through nine T10. And from all the flashlights that I've been having here in the channel, this is actually my favorite one. And the reason why is because it's very small. You see this very small one double eight. And if you see this clip right here, you see that clip. I mean, this thing conceals extremely well. You barely see the flashlight. So I kind of like that. So, you know, something like the Glock 42 with a little thing like this. I mean, this is a nice setup that, again, it, it, it works great. So what do you think about flashlights, man? Uh, they, If you carry a gun, a flashlight is mandatory. Got it. Mandatory. Uh, if you, even if you don't carry a gun, I think you should carry a flashlight because they're, like you said, they're so useful. I use my flashlight five times a day minimum. And it's funny when I start carrying a flashlight, my wife made fun of me all the time for carrying a flashlight. Then of course, within about two weeks, she wanted her own flashlight because she saw how much I used it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you go back kind of, kind of what the context of what we're discussing concealed carry is mm -hmm. you have to have a light. You have to be able to PID a target. You have to be able to identify a target. Rule number one. Yeah. Uh, I go about that with a handheld light and a weapon mounted light, but a handheld light is minimum. Uh, you know, I'm not going to draw my firearm, activate my life, point it at someone to ID a target uh, when I could do that with just my handheld light. Uh, now, of course, if you're going, if you're not going to be carrying a weapon mounted light, you need to be practicing, you know, to Harry's cheek neck index whatever you want to call it several other ways to do it fbi make sure get out take a low light class familiarize with yourself because if you have to manage a light with one hand that means you only can only manage your gun with one hand uh and shooting at distance gets a little more difficult but yeah. it, you have to carry a light it, it, iding a target is critical number one but they're just so useful you'll use the thing every single day for all sorts of different things um I have an old polytac that I actually upgraded the bulb and the electronics in it. Uh, I have a newer polytac, which I'm going to put the, the internals from my old one in my new one. Um, I'm a big fan of the Surefire EB1, EB2s. Uh, my favorite EDC light is probably the Surefire uh, P2X Fury. That's 600 lumens and a light that's just about this size. And I mean, Surefire is built like a rock. You've got to pay for it, but yep. it's a fantastic performing light. Um, when it comes to lumens, I'm a big fan of all the lumens all the time for the fact of more light is more information I can gather. It's that mm -hmm. fact. Uh, it's that simple. And of course, the brighter light, the more I can re remove someone's vertical horizon. I can block information behind me due to the amount of light. There's a lot that goes into it, but um, that's why I recommend taking a low light class. Uh, Steve Fisher, Sentinel Concepts low light class, MDFI, or you know, find another local good instructor. Uh, but carry a light, know how to use it, know how to shoot with it. And uh, it's you're gonna have a, a very useful tool with you that really does a whole lot of things for you. Yeah, here here here's the thing that I want to add up to that because you talked about identif uh you know positive identification on your target definitely extremely uh, uh important. You you show the you show the flashlight that you have, and I got to tell you, great flashlights. But I think there's a difference between 
a utility flashlight and actually a concealed carry or self-defense flashlight. Absolutely. This thing, you know, and that's something that people have to understand because, you know, it's now that I'm wrong. It's now that you wrong. It's, it's, it's now that anybody's wrong. But the reality is that some gear is better than other gear. I mean, you can't argue that. Yeah. I mean, am I carrying a Glock 42 on run? I'm not wrong. I have a way to defend myself. But if I'm going to tell you that my Glock 42 is better than your Glock 17, then I'm wrong because <laughs> some gear is better than other gear. I mean, you can't just argue that. So, again, my point to this is, like, carry a flashlight, but know the capabilities of your flashlight so you know how to properly use it. I mean, like I said, I'm loving this T10, but this is a utility flashlight. If I had to identify the a, a target, it's not going to be as easy, mainly because just something simple like this, this thing doesn't really have any uh, any uh, momentary, momentarily switch. So again, you have this clickly. It, it's difficult to switch through. Uh, you know, it's not as easy to switch through the settings. So when you look at something like what Nick just showed, that's actually self defense flashlight. So again, I'm not saying I'm wrong from carrying a utility flashlight. What I'm saying is that I know the capabilities of this flashlight. So if you buy something like this and then you think this is going to be a, a good self defense flashlight, then that's where the part that I would say some people are wrong about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, and there's many different ways to do this. You got to find what works for you. Know, and, and again, know the limitations. There's trade-offs for everything. So I carry a bigger light. So that means it usually gives me more lumens. But then, of course, it gives it's more weight. It's more bulk. You can carry something lighter that's easier to conceal, easier to carry, uh, cheaper batteries. So again, there's always trade-offs to everything. And you know what? It's not necessarily a bad idea to where if you want to carry like a, a full-size light and, and a utility light. That way you can save on the expensive batteries, use cheaper batteries in your utility light. But again, it's knowing how to use them. Uh, for me, for you know a quote-unquote self-defense light or concealed carry, I like uh, the clicky tail caps to where I can do momentary only. And then if I need to, I can click it and it stays on. Uh, I'm not a big fan, especially for a self-defense light, of having eight different modes and tap two times for this and three times for this or hold it down or um i i like it to where i push it it's on and i can click it and keep it on that yeah. that's I, I like it to be simple because you know you talk about being in sort of some sort of self-defense issue you just want it on you want everything you got and you want it now um so that's what i recommend for a self-defense light in regards to the tail cap momentary and then click it for full on yeah keep it simple man keep it yep. simple absolutely you know so Again, I guess the point of this uh, video is going to be like you definitely need a flashlight. You agree? Absolutely. And and again, too, if, if you want, if you really want to have, I mean, just a fun training class, it's a lot of learning. Go out and take a low light class. Um, and in the low light class, uh, your instructor should literally stop the class and play with everyone's lights. All lights are not created the same. Something that you'll especially see when you put out a light at distance is, you know, there, there's you know, two important things are you look at the beam, how the beam performs and how the spill performs. Um, generally in, in cheaper lights, you'll actually see if at, when you put it out at distance in that, in that actual spill, you'll see shadows in the light. Yeah. Um, and that's just due, due to the, you know, poor reflectors or geometry or however they make them, um, get out, take a low light class. And hopefully your instructor stops the class and tests out everybody's light and sees the actual performance. Cause it's actually just not about lumens either. There's a lot more to it than just max amount of lumens. It's how that uh, hot spot or that beam performs and how much spill you get as well. So there's, again, there's trade-offs to every single type of light. Find what works for you, run it, know how to use it, and know the capabilities of it. Good, man. Good. I think, I think you ended up pretty good, man. I, I don't, <laughs> I don't even want to say anything else because I want, I don't want to mess up the video, man. Take a low light class, man. It's, it's tons of fun. And I mean, here's the thing. What happens every single day, nighttime? You tell me, man. A lot of things happen at nighttime. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I mean, nighttime happens every single day. Yeah. So you live in it. You 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 work in it. You know. You should know how to how to operate in it. I'm not saying operate like tactical. Like, I mean, how to live and move out your. You know, go out through through the night. <laughs> operate like tactical. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, that's that's very good point very good point so we definitely recommend you guys to carry a flashlight no doubt about that so again nick you got anything going on that you want to share brother uh just putting out content and uh we have our edc series coming uh this uh, this february so every wednesday for the month of february we're doing our edc series so people are coming on talking about their edc so obviously if you guys are interested in some flashlight discussion come check us out because 
uh, we have people that can still carry and they better have a light or they're going to get crushed on the show. Yeah. So, you did. And that, that's our listeners of the show coming on the panel. Yeah. You did that last year, didn't you? Yep. We did it last April. Oh, wow. A year already, man. Wow, man. Yeah. Time flies, bro. Time flies. All right. So I appreciate everybody watching out there. Check out Nick. Links are going to be down below. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Definitely appreciate the support. As always, guys, if you guys like this type of videos, click like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and God is in control.